you know, ultra high to high, uh, yeah, yeah. So hey guys, how are you? <laughs> First, let me just say thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are new, hello. And if you are returning, you already know. Welcome back, guys. So we are going on a car journey. That's right. I haven't done one of these in a while. I have absolutely no makeup on. But we, I, and I literally just woke up, washed my face because I took my shower last night. I washed my hair so it is still wet. We are going to Whole Foods to get their infamous once a year beauty bags. Okay, so if you wanna see what this is all about, then keep on watching. Hey guys, please remember to subscribe if you have not, rate the video thumbs up, and turn on your bell so you're notified each and every time I upload. Thanks. Hey okay, guys, the hair is all kinds of crazy and it's just fun. Yes, yes. It is beautiful out now. Super beautiful. Yes, I have a little bit of sunscreen. It's like a primer, but not really. It's a sunscreen primer. Anyway, we are going to drive out to the town Exton, which is the closest Whole Foods to me. And that's about a 40 minute drive, I guess. And I do this once a year um, because it's the only Whole Foods closest to me. And I did call this morning. It is approximately 9.16. They just opened and they are putting the bags out as we speak. So I'm very happy and I am going to get them. They do have two bags this year, which people were concerned about. So as far as I know, there are two. We're gonna go through the products in each bag. Not like super duper in involved, but perhaps we'll have a giveaway, who knows. Oh, and BTW, what actually woke me up this morning, but the FedEx guy came from Beautylish, and yeah, the Natasha Denona palette has arrived. I did purchase something that will be in our milestone giveaway. Very good. So, actually, a couple things. Anyway, so just be aware of that, and so let's do this. Let's take this road trip together, shall we? I'll just be popping on here, showing you some scenery, and yip yapping until we get there, okay? See you in a minute. So, holy crap. I pulled in the gas station because of course I need gas, $4.29 a gallon. Now, let me tell you, it was up to $4.99. We were paying $5 a gallon here where I live in Pennsylvania. So to see it dropped overnight, basically, like I haven't gotten gas in like two days, but so in two days, it's gone down 80 cents. Let's just hope it keeps going down. Something tells me that's not going to happen, but okay. Anyway, so, uh, so I'm putting in $20. We're going to see what that gets me. Usually it would get me a half a tank, but... I mean, before all the prices went up. Recently, it's just been getting me barely a quarter of a tank, so hopefully it'll get me a little more than that. I don't know, we will see. I want you to tell me where are you and how much does your gas cost? Because holy moly. It gave me a little over a quarter of a tank, wow. I think if there's a TJ Maxx around there, I might quick run in and see if it's any better than mine, but you know, we never know. I'm hoping that they let me film while I'm in the whole food stores. Hubby didn't want to come. He's actually off today. He just wanted to like rest. So I was like, okay, whatever. Um, I do have a couple places to stop, like the bank and everything. Sorry about the noise. I wanted to go live last night, but my son popped up again and he was gonna be on the video with me, but I couldn't, I wanted him to be and he he wouldn't do it. So I love my son, but come on now, Dylan, if you're watching this, you should have came on live with me. We would have had a blast. I could have had him do my makeup or something. It's a smart kitty, but he would have figured it out. So it seems that my GPS is like crappy and it keeps losing a signal and it's rerouted me like 30 times. Maybe not 30, but a lot. I know this is not the normal way I take. Wish me luck, guys. I hate the GPS, I really do. Okay guys, so we're about seven minutes out. I think it's like four miles away or something and I can see some familiar things. So we are on the right road. It says about 42 minutes but it took me about 36. Don't know how I did that. So there she is, guys. We are here. All right, so let's do this. Okay, guys, so here they are. There's some brands in here that I recognize, some that I don't. But yeah, so the price was $20. This year, they are $25. So they did go up $5 for anyone who is, you know, looking to get one. They are available now. And again, you can only get one of each bag. Here's their Pacifica line. Here's all the prices, so. Here's an eyeshadow palette. This is hemp infused, which is very, very pretty. I've not tried any of uh, Pacifica's shadows. Here's an eyeshadow palette. It's a stellar, Oh, look at those pretty colors. See, pastels are really making a thing. This, this is $23, but then of course it's 25% off. And then the tiger's eye, this one here, 
is nine dollars and ninety nine cents with the, but without the twenty five percent off, you'd have to add that in. Okay, guys, so we are back in the car. I did grab myself. The one thing I do get when I'm here is organic coffee beans. I get the dark roast with a twist of caramel, and I use raw sugar. So that's the one thing I do treat myself. Oh my gosh, I look like who did it and ran? Why is all my hair? Hold, please. Don't know if that's any much better. I can't really see because the sun. So we're headed to there is a TJ Maxx here. We are going to stop at TJ Maxx, and you'll see that another time. You will see me back at my studio. BRB. Okay guys, so we are back in my studio. That's right. And if you hear the fan, I apologize. My air conditioner is like right here on this wall and there's no way I can put that on. And it is so hot. Holy moly. Of course the sun went in. It was so nice as you can see by the intro and all that. I just got home. You can see I do not have any makeup on and I am not putting any on for this because yeah, I don't got time. So <laughs> I will be putting makeup on. I have my Natasha Denona is sitting right there that I got this morning. It took me so long to get home, but I'm finally here, so let's do this, okay? We have two. I didn't even go over the names of these. This is the Bright Ideas. These, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I think I explained it in the intro, but I'm gonna say it again. Two bags that come, sometimes two, sometimes one, depending on, you know, what's going on that year. Whole Foods comes out with beauty bags. It says it is a $25 bag and it has $120 value. Now, I will tell you that I do believe that that retail value has been the same, like the worth, but the cost went up. This used to be $20. It has since gone up $5. Not really surprised because, you know, everything in the world is going up. So the name of this one is Bright Ideas. And then we do have this one, which is the exact same price, $25, and it has a retail value of Oh, 120 plus dollar value. So I guess if we add it all up, we could see, but I don't know. I'm not going to be able to factor that in because guys, I'm going to like do the minimal editing and get this video up because I have so many more to film. You don't even want to know. I have unconditional L studio spoilers for the month of April coming. I also am working on a project. Someone sent me a bunch of palettes guys, and I'm working on those palettes to see. She asked me, you know, like if I would give her my opinion as far as how these shadows work and everything. And I'm working on those palettes. I want to give her a really good answer. So I'm testing out as many shadows as I can. I will bring you some version of that video so you guys can see the palettes for yourself. There's five palettes in total and three I've never heard of. Two I have. But anyway, I digress. When don't I though, right? So this is the glow and go bag. Now these only are available for a limited time and they usually sell out major quick because as you can see from here we do have a lot of good brands like I love clean beauty so I this is right up my alley I do know that these bags they do benefit a charity so let's go through the bright ideas one first there it is here now when you open it up there's a sneak peek it's just filled with all kinds of stuff guys like oh goody so we're gonna have to speed unbox okay I apologize if I'm rushing but I do want to get this video up and there's a reason it says these limited edition one-of-a-kind beauty bags are made with hand printed batik fabric from the Queen Alafia Center in Togo stitched together by women in Guyana I believe the proceeds or portion of the proceeds do go to these women okay these bags give these women self-worth they hand print these things and they are gorgeous I must admit and they're made so very well it's a really good zipper I'm, I'm having a hard time with my arm sorry but it's very well made as you can see there's no like loose strings or anything it's very very pretty it's made out of I want to say like a canvas like a cotton canvas but it's very like sturdy you know and then there is this like nesh on the inside I've unboxed these three years running okay this will be my third time there these pull apart you see what I'm saying so they are lined and although it's not the lining that you can wipe out like plastic it is a, a lining just the same and it's a good lining and it's made out of really good material they're very very good bags. I think last year they were sold out of one so I got you were allowed to get two bags and the guy let me get two of the same bags which you're really not supposed to do I did try to get one more of one of them and they said no absolutely not now I think as time goes on you may be able to talk to the people at Whole Foods I don't mean like bomb rush them and say hey yeah Stephanie said no maybe like when it's coming to an end and they have some left over perhaps they would let you buy like a second one you know what I mean um, if you wanted to get two, they're great for gifts. It's just really good. I wanted to do a giveaway with a whole bag, 
but we are going to go through the products and I am sure I don't need all these products, okay? I'm absolutely positive. So we're gonna do something, okay? And this is the Bright Ideas bag, the pink one. So the first thing I see is from Face Tree. How do you say this? Mary Catherine loves cats. Please comment down below. She's like an affiliate, I guess. Okay, so this is the Be Bright Be You Brightening Gold Foil Mask from Face. I again, I don't know how to pronounce that. It's maybe like a play on Factory, but okay, Face Tree. Okay, so there's that. Okay, love that. That's a mask. So let's get. Oh, get my one of my favorite brands. This is Andalau. Okay, I love Andalau. I have Andalau products. This is Instant Brighten and Tighten Hydro Serum Facial Mask. Vitamin C brightening, fiber sheet mask. I love fiber sheet masks. Cotton fiber sheet masks, I love them. I do like the cellulose ones, more for under eyes though, but I do like these kinds. So there's that, okay. Party, she, come on. This is what she was in. I love the Whole Foods bags, these are so cute. This is from Pacifica, we have yet another. This is uh, anti-puff eye patches, so loving that. Remember now, all natural guys. This is 100% vegan, cruelty free. Anti-puff eye patches for puffy under eyes and dark circles. Blue tansy, linen, leaf, and kelp. Okay, so there you have that. That's what it looks like. There's the little patches. They're kind of shaped different. It looks like a leaf, right? Okay, so there's that. And I almost bought this. I'm so glad I did it. This is the Mineral Fusion Nail Polish Remover. And I'm so happy to get this because, guys, my nails really... Look how my nail broke. Terrible, right? This one broke and this one broke. Oh, my goodness. I have to put a press on it until it grows out. This one hurt. It bent all the way back. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here we have the, the Mineral Fusion, and I have tried this before. My girl Holly sent me um, a Manico bag with a bunch of like nail stuff, and this was in here, so thank you, Holly. I love this, and this is a, guys, this lasts for a while, and it's very good for your nails. It doesn't like strip them and make them all brittle, you know? So I'm happy to get that. I'm running out, so I need that. Now, this is High Bar Solid Shampoo and Conditioner. Now, I don't know, it comes in a little box like this, Solid Shampoo and Conditioner. I'm guessing this is like a shampoo bar, which, yeah, I don't do that. It, it doesn't have too much of a smell, but here it looks like this. I like the packaging. And then it's wrapped up in some waxy paper, like. Oh, okay, so it's two, that's cool. Okay, so one is a conditioner and one is a shampoo bar. No way, this is cool. So here's an S. So for those of you who don't know, like me, S for shampoo and C for conditioner. They're not even the same color, guys. So they don't really have too much of a scent. I mean, it's not like bad or anything. I want to say it's like the ingredient scent. It's not chemically or anything like that. So there you have that. I just can't use them because it, this little bar would get lost in my hair for sure. Even the big bars get lost in my hair, so. But this is a little, like, like travel size guy, okay? This is really good. Authentic and African Black Soap. It is Scalp Care Shampoo, okay? And you definitely want this in your head, okay? Like, on your head. Did I say in your head? I did. On your head. Definitely want this, all right? And, oh! I, oh my gosh, this is the Mad Hippie. I love Mad Hippie. This brand, I always get it in these bags. They do some version of their products, and this is so cool. This is vitamin A serum. And if you don't know, vitamin A is usually associated with like retinol. So I'm gonna say that this is a correcting like serum. It says, oh, I don't have my glasses. Advanced Skin Care Vitamin A Serum. There you have it right there. And it is in a brown, and this is like a thick kind of thing I'm not gonna open it It has a little seal on it okay so there you have Mad Hippie go Mad Hippie I just love the name of that brand this is something different I've not seen this before <gasps> oh from a cure I did find the a cure rack I was very happy to find that I wanted to get some stuff so bad but I am like trying to keep my money down oh my gosh so hard as I went to TJ Maxx on my way home but anyway you'll see that too a Cure Radically Rejuvenating Niacinamide Serum. Okay, I am loving that. And where do you put this on your eyes? Directions. Apply a small amount to face each morning. <laughs> wow, that's kind of cool. And then just mush it in. Yes, please, niacinamide. It's more targeted. Yeah, it's got a little roller ball is what I thought. And you want to target it like on the red spots and then places that you're super dry. So that would be cool. And then we have some more Cure. Let me get out all the Cure because I did see that in here. So we have this one. This is what I'm very happy about. This is Ultra Hydrating Plant Ceramide Daily Facial Lotion. 
I'm a care. Love the brand of care. Love, love, love. We got a little mini guy right here. It's a travel size, which is, it's like a half ounce, which is fine to try. Okay, glasses are much better. So this is the Even Healy Sanctuary Serum, a deeply restorative nutrient complex facial oil for dry, mature, sensitive skin. That is me. That is me. You can see that. So there's the label on there. So it's a little bitty guy, but that's, I mean, come on, you only need a couple drops for your face. So that'll last a little bit and you'll be able to get to see if you like it. And then you could go by the full version. Yes, yes. A lot of the brands in these bags you can only get at Whole Foods. Not, I don't think all of them, but a lot of them. Okay, so this is really good. This is the Burt's Bees Facial Cleanser. And I have tried this before. It is very good. I do like it very much. It doesn't strip your skin. Then we have, which I always like when they do this, they put a set, which is so good. I have actually tried this brand as well, and I do like it. It is the seaweed right here. You have the, um, this is the seaweed bath company, hydrating, balancing shampoo with argan oil and aloe. I love me some aloe, especially in my hair. Nutrient rich, and it is, has, it, it has the smell of eucalyptus, eucalyptus and peppermint. Not crazy about putting peppermint on my scalp. I don't know if that would make it dry, but I don't think the one I had before this was like that. There's that. And then they do have, ta-da, the matching conditioner, which I love when they do that. Again, at Argan Oil Hydrating Balancing Conditioner, Nutrient Rich, uh, Seaweed is in it, Restoring Vitamin E, Hair Balancing Pro Vitamin B5, which is definitely a good thing. Same on the, the shampoo. So there you have, um, go on vacation or something you, overnight boom you have your stuff this is the last thing in the bag is what I see here I can't say this word Tro trilogy holy crap ultra hydrating face cream with rosapine manuka honey you know I love that but it has lavender in it <laughs> no I can't and I'm sure it has a safety seal maybe not yeah it does safety seal on this I can't smell anything, so yeah, that lavender, no, uh, mm -mm. you know me and lavender, definitely not, that's a no. So there's the first bag, that is the Bright Ideas bag, okay? Now, recap really quickly, we have the African soap for your scalp and hair, you have the seaweed shampoo and conditioner set, you have the Mad Hippie Face Serum, which yes please, you have the Even Healy um, Facial Oil, you have the Acure ultra hydrating plant ceramide facial lotion right there you have the eye patches from pacifica you have the andalau instant brightening and firming uh, face mask you have the mineral fusion nail polish remover we're very happy to get that i was running out then you have the a cure radically rejuvenating niacinamide serum boom you have the shampoo and con uh, conditioner soap bar you have the trilogy why can i speak today trilogy with lavender and then we have the Burt's Bee um, facial cleanser and also the fat factory or face tree faceatory faceatory maybe I don't know um, be bright be you gold foil mask so that is the contents of the bright ideas bag now moving on to the glow and go bag which is this one it's I want to say that's like a almost a tea I want to say teal or like a dark sea foam color I, it's very pretty very pretty look at the detail guys these are hand printed like wow okay very very pretty okay so let's see what we have in this one shall we we have a cure this is radically rejuvenating under eye hydrogels love me some hydrogel under eye masks love it and then we have from derma e i did not know they made this many things like i'm a i have the night cream and i have a couple other products but boy do they make everything Derma Essentials Gentle Enzyme Peel, Exotic Fruit Enzymes, Licorice Root, and Milk Thistle. Polishes and even skin tone. So there you have it. And this is the good kind where you can like tighten it up and reuse it. Awesome. Then we have Pacifica again to, you know, it, you don't always find it in, I mean, it's not only in Whole Foods, I don't think. But I think this is their brand or they're affiliated somehow. This is the Glow Baby Brightening Face Wash. Even out, exfoliate, and cleanse, plus AHA, vitamin C, and vanilla, sulfate-free. Wow, that's got everything in it. Yes, it does. 100% vegan and cruelty-free right there. And that's a big size, okay? That is a 1 ounce, 1.4 fluid ounces. So that's a very good size for a facial wash. You don't need a lot. So that's awesome. And then, what am I pulling out? This is a, like a, a staple in these bags. I've gotten it before, and I love this stuff. This is the Skin Food Lip Butter from... Walita, I think that's how you say it. Walita, there you go. A little bitty guy right here, pop it in your purse. 
Kari found the bag again. I have to put it somewhere. Let me stick it there so she can't see it. Okay. I know you guys can see my pile right here, right? Yeah. That's a pile of filming, and then I got a whole bin right here. Oh, my gosh. So much to do. Not enough time. Just not. Which is why I look like this, guys. I'm not going to apologize for my face, but I apologize for not having time to sit down and do my face. So there you have the little Walita lip masky thing, and it is a, it's a lip butter plant oil blend hydrates the lips, okay? So there you have that. Oh, look! This is new. This is hair coils you need right now for hair tie coils. And those are itty bitty. I mean, that would be good for like maybe one ponytail, like if I pull it all back like this. It says, kind on hair, holds hair in place, no marks or creases. So that's pretty cool. There's four black ones, goes with everything. Then you have authentic black African soap. So I, this is the first double. So that's cool. So you know one of these is going in the giveaway for sure. So there you have that. Oh, we have another Mad Hippie. This is vitamin C serum. This is different. Okay, I'm going to keep that out of the light as quickly as possible. I will show you. It just says directions, massage serum into face after washing. Follow with a moisturizer. Okay, you know, serums go first and then moisturizers. It says with cognac root, fervlic, and hyaluronic acid. So there you have it, little guy. Okay, yay, yay. And then we have this. This is my Chelly Derm Essential Strengthening Pumpkin Renew Cream. Antioxidant rich fruits for unsurpassed moisturization. Okay, that looks like something that I'm very interested in. So there you have that. And then we have, now I do believe that only you can buy it at Whole Foods. And that is the 365 brand right here. See that right there? So you have the Moisture and Shine Shampoo, which is a one ounce guy right there. This says with hemp seed and argan oils. So you know I will not be trying this. Both shampoo and conditioner you can definitely smell the lavender. And then we have this. This is something I haven't seen. Karuna Lights Out Cream, Peptide Magnolia. So there's a little bitty guy. I mean, it's not bad, it's like a half ounce. It says activate balance, restore balance while you sleep. So this is a night cream with this rich velvety overnight moisturizer. Balanced skin is happy skin. So there you have it. If I can fix my skin in my sleep, that's awesome. Just so much better. Oh, here we have another Cure product. This is Seriously Soothing Jelly Milk Makeup Remover. There's a little seal on there, okay? So there you have that. This is one fluid ounce, which I'm sure you know, probably don't need a lot. You can get probably a lot of uses out of this to see if it takes off your makeup, which I'm assuming it does. And then this is from Dr. Hauschka. Hushka, I don't know how you say that. There it is right there. And this is the Balancing Day Lotion. Helps balance oily and combination skin, reduce appearance of blemishes. Formulated with Anthelias. I don't know if I could use this. I was excited to see it, but I don't know if I can use this. And that is the last item in the box. It is a little pumpy guy. There is no lid on it, which is kind of weird. Oh, but it has a locking mechanism. But this is a glass bottle, guys, so it's a very good item. I mean, I only have that one product, but what I've tried with that one product, I do like it. And there you have it. So let's recap. You have the Hoshka Balancing Day Lotion right there. You have the Acure Seriously Soothing Jelly Milk Makeup Remover right there. I love the brand Acure. And then we have the Derma E Essentials Gentle Enzyme Peel with a little closable top, okay? And then we have the... Karuma lights out the night cream, which I'm very excited to try that. And then we have this one. This is the Pumpkin Renew Antioxidant Fruits for Unsurpassed Moisturization. Then we have the hair coils you need right now. Then we have the black African soap for your shampoo-like thingy. We have the Walita lip, lippy thing. We have the shampoo conditioner that I definitely cannot use because of the lavender. And we have Pacifica Glow Baby brightening face wash right there you have it okay so that what came in this box now give me a second let me go over these products let me put together and I will show you what's going to be in the giveaway okay so normally I would give away a whole bag I apologize I could not get one okay so here's what we're gonna do I have this little Sephora play which is also oh cute for like spring and summer right I want to try and keep this as light as possible guys just for now because I have a lot coming and there's a lot that has to go out and yeah shipping costs and all so hopefully I'll be getting a paycheck from YouTube that will help me with the with the shipping. I take that money and I do not touch it. It goes right for shipping or if I need to purchase anything, which I didn't have anything left over from my first check. Hopefully this one I'll be able to pay off some of what I bought because I did, yeah, 
I bought some stuff that I want. I was on a no buy buy, but it's a milestone giveaway. How can I not, right? And I love you guys. So I'm trying to do the best I can, and I want to make sure that I have enough money to send the postage off. You know, what's good with a giveaway if I can't mail it to you, right? So we're definitely the Trillology, definitely going to be in there because it is lavender. If I could get it in the bag, put that in the bag. And then we're doing the 365 Moisture and Shine Lavender Shampoo and Conditioner. Then we're going to, I have one of these already that I'm working on and I do like it, but I'm going to share this with you guys because it's a really good facial cleanser, guys. It really is. It's the Burt Bees. So it's, yeah. And there's a lot in there. So, and then of course this, which is the Authentic African Black Soap right here. Then also the Shampoo Conditioner Bars because I can't use them, my hair is way too long. And then we have the face, Facetory or Factory, I don't know how you say it. Mary Catherine, help me in the comment sections below. I hope she watches. If you guys don't know Mary Catherine Loves Cats, I, I can't see that you don't, but if you don't, I'm gonna link her channel down below, go see her, she's awesome. Very classy, wonderful lady, I love her to death. Mary Catherine, hi. Okay, and then we have, so we have the, the gold foil mask from them. I will put that in there as well. And whatever else I can think of, guys, will go in here as well. If I can pop something else in here, perhaps, I don't know, whatever I can fit in here. Um, and then I'm going to draw the string like this. And I'm going to try and put it, depending on the weight, in like one of the Ipsy bags, the, you know, regular bags. Because I do have one over there that needs to be unboxed and filmed. So we have BoxyCharm coming. Oh my gosh. Guys, how I ended up with so much BoxyCharm, I don't know. I think they made a mistake. I really do. I, I, unless I was sleep shopping again. I don't know. But anyway, we will find out when we open it because I have no idea what's in it. I do have one, two, three, four boxes. Don't ask me how I ended up with that. I have no idea. Anyway, I asked you in here to tell me something. The comment picker with the word gas. That's what it's looking for. But I asked you to do something with the word gas. So please make sure that it is that is done. You see what I'm saying? YouTube is not responsible. First and foremost, you must be subscribed to this channel. You must have your account set on public so that I can see that you are in fact subscribed. Also, 18 or older, we're gonna keep this one in the US, guys. I apologize. And the reason I'm doing that is because I do have one that I'm ending that is com that is open international and then two more coming up that are open international, okay? So, and that is our milestone giveaway and there's a couple other ones that I have already set up and I just have to film them. I have get the goodies all put together. So there you have it. So that was the two bags for the Whole Foods. What do you think? Do you think this is, they only come out once a year, guys. So it's kind of like once they're gone, they're gone until next year. And yeah, so I'm happy that I got them. There's a lot of different things I see in here now. Like there's a couple from like last year, but a lot of new, not brands I won't say, but different products, which is always oh so good. Um, you get to try them out, see if you like them. I really think it's a good bag. And the bag itself is made um, really good. Now I do have one of these bags. I guess what I can do is, let me see if I can do it. I'm not, I will, I, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in if I can fold it. If I can fit it, then we won't do this bag, okay? I will go ahead and put this one in here. If I can't fit it, then we'll keep it in here, okay, guys? I'll do the best I can to get it in one of those little Ipsy Glam bags and send it out, okay, to whoever the winner is. If anything needs to be bubble wrapped, trust me, it will be. Yeah, so I think that pretty much covers it. I will have all the details and the rules listed down below. If you guys want to get these, I suggest getting them ASAP. I don't believe they ship. I think you have to go to the store and get them, but if you have a Whole Foods near you, I highly say grab them. I mean, they definitely are worth it. You get to try brands that you otherwise may have not. And if you like clean skincare, then this is definitely a bag for you. It really is. All right, so until I see you in the next one, please remember, if you are going through something, guys, just you know, don't stuff it. And with everything that's going on in this world, who wouldn't be, right? Please talk about it. I kind of went ballistic on my counselor last Thursday. I was just, you know, I don't talk politics on this channel. You know that. But with everything going on, I was a little crazy in the head and oh so worried, you know, and um, was venting an awful lot to her. So maybe sometimes it's good for just a stranger that you don't even know. Just sit down, start talking to them. If you're that person that's asked to sit down and, and talk, please do that because you could absolutely help them just by listening to them vent, you know. And um, with everything going on in the world, like I say, I have been all this time. You know, we are not promised tomorrow. It is not obligated for us to have that. It is an absolute gift. 
if you have anything you want to say to somebody like now's the time because we aren't we aren't promised tomorrow and to all my loved ones across the globe please stay safe until the next one see ya